Hey there, Michael Levy here once again, and as promised yesterday, um, I want to share with you uh, how to make a video with Video Maker FX uh, from scratch so that you can see that it really is simple and that you can do this for your opportunity as well, whatever it is. So today, I wanted to make a shorter video. Uh, we made a longer one you saw yesterday that was about, you know, almost three minutes. I wanted to make a, a shorter mid video for um, my opportunity. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go create from scratch. So we're going to go, um, oh, let's see here, short, short tools video. Uh, that's what we're going to name it for now. And then we need to find, so we're going to go over here to create project. I think we already did that. Now we need to add slides. Yes. And one I really wanted to use because I like the way they move. Let's see. Is it this one? So let's say not only. See, you can, there's all these options over here. You can choose from all this stuff. So, uh, but I'm going to use, it's, is it this one? No, it's not that one. It's definitely this one. Okay, so yes, it's this one. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go add all slides. Okay, so now everything has loaded all in and I'm going to start filling in the text area. Now something that I'm going to suggest when you're making your videos is to create an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, uh, and the reason being, for this is the first one I made, correct? So we took all this time to come up with this great content for everything in the first video, right? Well, it was great content. So some of it I wanted to be able to reuse. So when I was creating the content for the second one, I went back in here and I pulled from this all to create all of this. Because two, it's the same company. So you're gonna fill, you know, whatever your opportunity is, your message is gonna be consistent across all of your videos, right? Exactly. So this keeps things simple for you. So to start off, we're gonna go back here to the beginning and we just select it like so and we got the first text area and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just move this so that's the only one we're seeing Matter of fact we'll go like so okay so I'm gonna just go and copy and paste everything uh, that that I had come up with. Okay, and then we're going to go back through and tweak it all uh, one stage at a time. So and again, I just wanted to show you, I realize that you're going to be watching through a training video, uh, just, but I want you to really see, oops, I want you to really see how quick and easy this is so that you can do it for yourself. Okay, I'm going to go to the second one. Now again, I did go through and create the content before. Um, this is something that, you know, you would do as you go. Uh, because a lot of times you got to make sure the words are fitting on the page properly. Um, and sometimes you can adjust the sizes and whatnot. Um, this is something that uh, we'll go and tweak when we're all done filling in the copy. Okay? Because um, I just didn't want you to have to deal with that part. I wanted to do the creation part with you so that you would understand that um, as opposed to actually coming up with the copy. Okay. Okay. Now notice, notice, see, so if you want your pro, uh, for your product, so if you want for your product and service, provide all the benefits to solve all the problems so it gives you ideas okay to do in here or you can you know do as I'm doing I'm just creating my own because that's that's how I roll okay so we're gonna just keep going and I'm not gonna pause the video to to shorten this time because um, I want you to understand the actual time it took to do this so please bear with me uh, this will be great so that you can really see that it doesn't take that long 
to put all this together. I'm literally doing it, as promised yesterday, in real time. Can you? Oh my gosh. See, this is what it's like. This is New York. What do you think about that? Can you hear those horns in the background? Come on. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I feel like we should have the Jeopardy theme song playing right now. Maybe I'll add that in. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Uh, I know it's online. I was I was waiting for something. Um, <laughs> I was, oh, I know what it was. I was connecting my uh, Hulu to my Optimum account. And they go, they go, here's where you can go listen to the Jeopardy theme song while you wait. And so I did. I actually went and found it uh, so that I could listen to the Jeopardy theme song while I waited. And then I cracked up and uh, then it crashed and... Um, and well, and I went back and everything was working just fine. Okay. Uh, something that, like, ideas for you when you're, when you're creating your videos, uh, to be, um, it's most helpful simply, oh, snap, I did something wrong, we're going to go at the bottom. Um, something helpful is to just think about about what your um, uh, prospects will need to see in order to convince them to uh, join whatever it is or buy whatever it is you're selling. Like, think of the, the fewest amount of words possible. Because, you, you know, if you study commercials, uh, any commercial on television, a lot of times it's about saying less uh, and not about saying more. Uh, because you, you want people to fill in their own blanks for what's right for them. Like, you have an opportunity for someone that you know will help them uh, and they just need to see that it will help them. I already did that one. More sales for. Can you hear all the sounds in the background? We've now got the ice cream truck. The guy who drives that ice cream truck is named Angel. Why do I know this? Because he parks across the street and that song will play for way too long. And then Michael Leedy gets annoyed and I have to go down there and politely ask if he'll shut it off. It's, uh oh, oh, don't move it, don't move it. There we go. Yes, and so that's why I know his name, Angel. It's quite a rigmarole on this street. It's the, it's the, what's the word? The strip, if you will. One would think, you know, you'd want to live on the strip where everything is going on. But word to the wise, where everything is going on is actually quite loud. And you wouldn't think of that when you were moving in there. But then once you're in there, you realize it. And then it's too late. I mean, if you'd see my apartment, it is huge it's such a fantastic deal people come over and they they hate us because our apartment's so huge we have outdoor space and three walk-in closets not to mention high ceilings uh, it's a pretty sweet deal and and uh, people get a little bit jealous um, yes this one I feel like we need that Jeopardy theme song again. Oh wait, no, we've got the ice cream truck. Should I tell a joke? I wish I knew some. <laughs> Boy, I just flew in from Arizona and my arms are tired. <laughs> that was bad, that was really bad. I wish I knew some dirty jokes, perhaps. Those are always funny. Or something that's just a little bit wrong. I should know, my uh, good friend is a comedian. I, she, she's got some hysterical things that she talks about, some of which include me. Uh, she talks about 
um, one of these times where she was watching me take my pants off. Um, they happen to be skinny jeans, right? And well, it just, it's a lot of effort to get them off. This was a couple years ago. I don't wear jeans that tight anymore. That look is over. Um, although there's still plenty of people wearing it, but I just don't feel like rocking it. I did it, right? Oh, can you hear it? Can you hear? Can you hear the ice cream truck still? Yes. Uh-oh. Looks like I've done, what is this, five? One, two, three, four, five, perfect. And I know you're gonna hate me because, because the ice cream truck song is probably stuck in your head too now. Let's try living here. I guess beauty is pain, right? It's kind of like, you know, ladies have to put on high heels and, 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 and walk and, and keep up even though their heels are super high. But they do it because it makes them feel sexy and it makes them feel pretty. You know, same thing with makeup. They have to do all that work, put makeup on. I don't know if you're a lady out there and you wear makeup, but uh, if you do, you know what I'm talking about. I watch it happen with my girls. Yes. We are almost to the end. Let's see here. And then we're going to go and we're going to start tweaking things. Again, I'm leaving this just live because I want you to see how honestly simple this is. Let's see, but I did something wrong here. Hopefully I picked all the right words as we were going. I'm not really double checking things as I go. But again, it's all written, right? So we're gonna just keep going. And now we got something else driving by. And this is nothing. Oh my gosh, this is nothing. And we have two more slides, and we will have completed the actual copy portion of this video. And then we're going to go back and do all the fun stuff to make it look really cool. Um, this is, again, the most tedious part you're going to find with, oh, uh, what's this word? With the best. Wait, welcome to the best. Here we go. No! Crap. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I finished my thought. Uh, the most tedious part you're going to find in making these videos is the actual content. Uh, and then everything else is super quick. Uh oh, now we got salsa. What? Although I've got to tell you, what is that guy's name? Oh, he's a he's a salsa guy. Mary Jennifer Lopez. I think they're divorced now. Mark Anthony. Okay, so when I hear his music and it's in English, oh, we already did that one. When I hear Mark Anthony's music in English, I don't necessarily like it. Um, but I tell you what, when he drives by in a car, not him in particular, but his music, and someone has it on, and he's doing his, the Spanish versions of whatever he does. Oh my gosh, is that guy amazing. I Really, it's, it's a whole, it has a whole different feel to it. I think it's because I really like the salsa music. Oh, crap. Son of a bitch. Yes, Michael Leedy has a cursing mouth. Okay, although I do like to use the word effin' a lot instead of the real one, because effin's kind of more fun. Spell it, spell it out, you know. E-F-F-I-N, apostrophe. Um, is that what I want? The premier choice for your, okay. We're going to just double check everything. Sorry, I just want to make sure this is... I guess we're going to do it when we go back through to fix all the content. Okay, so now the copy is in. Now, one of the first things that I want to change is this red background. I, I don't, red is a great color, but it's a bit, what's the word, abrupt? 
um, it's it's just not a color that I'm a big fan of for for uh, marketing, right? It's just it's too much, and I, I don't want to use it. So you go over here, you click on images, right? And then you go to background, and we're gonna go uh, open gallery, and I let's go simple sky blue, right? It's a really pretty color. So we're gonna do this across everything, okay? So use image. It does not change in the bottom, it only changes in the top. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go background, browse. Oh no, 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 no. Open gallery. Okay, background simple, sky blue. Use image. We're gonna go to the next slide. And yes, this is a little bit tedious as well. But remember, you're making a video that you're going to be able to drive traffic to, uh, and, and it'll convert so much. I think these can convert 30 or 40 percent better than just a normal video, which is why uh, my business partner and I decided to invest in this and really start building these for our team. Um, because we know we just want the best for our team. Okay, come on, click. I'm just checking them. That's what I thought. Background, open gallery. Um, so this is really great if you're, especially if you're a, a leader in whatever opportunity you work with, uh, because you can do stuff like this to help your team, which will encourage more people to come work on your team. And once you do this, um, you know, it's ready to go. It's all they have to do is use it. And you can even put a, a copyright on it. Open gallery. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll cut a video on how to do that. And I'll give that to you tomorrow because that's a whole different process. Um, and I, I don't want to, I just, I wanted to show you how to do this. Just building a simple uh, video from scratch. In real time, I realize that it's a little bit long. However, it will really express how simple this is. Gosh, what other stories can I tell you? And how about a little about me? Um, what got me into marketing online is, oh, simple is that you know I used to work in the music industry and I had really 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 high level clients and well high level clients although they seem glamorous to work with people like that um, let's just say when you deal with the actual completion process of making an album and getting it released to the public which that's what I did. I worked in mastering. Um, everything's last minute because those high-level clients, people you hear on the radio, make changes and they don't know how to make deadlines uh, because they know that no matter what they do, someone will fix it. And whose lap did it always end up falling into? but mine. So my job was to put out fires 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, I'd get texts at midnight and one o'clock in the morning from certain people that they need certain things done at 6 a.m. and then I'd have to figure out how to get that done. It was just a whole rigmarole that, well, I did it for 10 years and I was very good at it, but I just I didn't want to do it anymore. It was, I was burnt out from it. So what I ended up doing was finding a replacement for myself because my job was pretty hard. So it took me a while to find someone. And, but when I did, I told my boss what I was doing and that he needed, he needed to hire her or hire two people uh, and that she required a visa. So we had to get her imported from England. Mm, it's a true story. So uh, she's great over there because she she's been in the music industry as well. Um, now we're just double checking just to make sure everything is blue. 
So she was in the music industry as well, and she actually liked dealing with it, and she even had a, a, a larger workload than I had where she was coming from. So it was easier for her. Uh, plus she wanted to be in New York. So we are done with that part, okay? Next, let's just look at everything. So I got these, these here are, are quotes that I picked up from the main um, website. Now you notice how the R cuts off and so does the K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change the font to regular. Okay, so now you can see the name fits. So, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change this one to regular. See, simple as that, right? And then let's see, look at this one. And we're gonna move to the next one. Oh, you see how that, see how that looks kind of funny? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it all in caps, imagine. Ooh, she gets a little slow. Imagine, uh, imagine the simplicity. Because when you do all capitals, uh oh, see when this is moving and that's moving. Make sure I spelled everything right. Imagine the simplicity. Uh, a f thing that I would advise. Uh, is to really pay attention to spelling because, well, um, there's no spell check in Video Maker FX. So I'm going to look at this second line. See, an all-in-one hybrid marketing tool suite. The text is 65. Let's change it to let's change it to 70 and see what it looks like. That still looks okay. Let's change it to 80. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that looks even better. How about 85? I like, I'm going to try 90. Let's see what 90 does. Yeah, I like that. And you know what we're going to do? What if we go and turn that orange? Oh, no, no, no. I don't not like that. Let's put it... Oh, it was a creamy color, I think. Yes, it was that. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next one. A marketing tool suite that will revolutionize your workflow in a brand new way simply by providing one single back office leverage your time so i'm going to go in here will this work let's try yellow this time um or how about this one let's see I'm just I'm just trying this on single back office. And what happens if we throw an effect on it? What, I've, these are effects. These do stuff to your texts. Um, and I know strong black shadow. We're gonna go and do that stuff in a second. I just want to see what this looks like. Before ooh, but I don't like that yellow anymore. We're gonna try the orange again. I'm really feeling the orange. Come on. And you have to wait for it to rotate through. And it won't always run this slow. This is only uh, in this phase that the videos run kind of slower. Ooh, see, I kind of like that. One single back office. I almost want to make it darker. Let's try that. So why I'm changing in this and something for you to think about, you know, if there's certain benefits of your business or opportunity, yes, I think I like that. Or should I do leverage your time? I might do this. I'm going to leave this white and I'm going to put leverage your time in orange. Simply put that text effect on it. Ooh, that's I don't want it that heavy. Yeah, I like that. A marketing tool suite. Matter of fact, I'm going to do the same thing to that. We're actually going to go back through at the end and add um 
we're gonna add that same thing to the end. Let's see, a marketing tool. Yes, and then we're gonna do strong shadow. Now we're gonna do the the light shadow. Strong black shadow. One. I think it's the one. I like the. Is it one? Which one do we have on this one? Strong black shadow one. So we're going to go through and we're going to basically tweak everything like that. So I'm going to just move along quickly. Um, something I'm going to do because it really adds nice dimension and I just remembering it now, I'm going to go and I'm going to add strong black shadow one to everything because it really adds this nice pop to the copy on the page so that it really comes off the page and you know helps helps just make it you know look that one step more professional because that's what your goal is here I really hope this is valuable to you I, I know that it's kind of tedious because we're going through it like one step at a time but again I just wanted to show you how qu quickly this is yeah, I'm making a video. <laughs> and keep going. It's my roommate, Josh. Okay. Let's see here. And again, I would pause it, but I just want to keep it real because that's the whole point of this, right? I wish we were... Maybe I should have done this live, like completely live, so we could have had questions or maybe had someone to talk to me at the same time that I was doing this so it would make it more I don't know interesting I mean what else can I share with you about me well let's see okay how about this after I left the music industry I didn't really have a plan uh, so I just knew that I needed to do I wanted to do something where I could help people like real people not pop stars um, and, and make a difference in people's lives. I didn't really know how I was going to do that. I was thinking wellness. Um, I knew there would be schooling involved with that, or just something to do with helping people uh, and make a difference, you know? And so, regardless of not having a plan, I had saved up money, and I decided that I was going to just travel. So I went over to Spain by myself, and I traveled um, all over the place. Uh, I even went over to Marrakesh, and I went to Istanbul. Um, I had some friends meet me in a couple places, or they met me. Um, but I really, I just went on this trip by my own. It was the very alchemist-like, and it was a great experience. Very humbling because I don't. My Spanish at that time was not so special but I could get by um, but I couldn't really hold conversations because I had just studied matter of fact it was a it was a Spanish class that, that sparked this whole thing I was talking to a co-worker who was in the Spanish class with me and we're talking at work one day and and I said yeah I want to go to you know Spain and take a trip for two weeks and he goes why only two weeks I go because that's all I get Remember, I was doing quite well, um, and and he goes, it's ridiculous how Americans get basically screwed into thinking that two or three weeks vacation is actually good. And I'm like, you know, you're right. And you know, I just took it upon myself to find something else by leaping. I just took a leap, I jumped, and knew that life would catch me. So during this trip, I started a travel blog, knew nothing about what I was doing, really. Um, I was making some videos that had, what is that called, where you're, where, where it's like all skinny, uh, because you don't have the camera the right way, it's, it's like vertical something syndrome. So I had that in all my videos, and 
You know, it went so far as, as to when I went to Marrakesh and then my signal got really crappy because uh, they, they say they're pretty advanced over there, but uh, I gotta say, uh, it's a it's a very special place. I'm not sure if you've ever been there, but that place is crazy, crazy. And it wasn't until I was there for a good four days that I figured out like oh, what was so special about it. And now I I look forward to going back. But I ended up coming home right to New York and just looking for something. And that's when internet marketing found me. And I say found me because I had clicked on a Craigslist ad and, and I just jumped into this company that, you know, showed me a comp plan and showed me successes of other people. And I thought, you know what, if these people can handle it, because you hear about people's stories and where they came from and everything they've dealt with. And I thought to myself, wow, my life has never been that bad. And... And the clients that I used to deal with were 10 times as worse than anything I'm hearing in these stories. So if they can figure it out, why can't I? And I took it upon myself to just keep digging. I'm no longer with that company because I didn't want to bring people into it. It just, it did, there were some things that didn't set well with me and I'm all about solutions, not causing more confusions and problems. So I stayed with it for a while uh, because I'm the type of person to focus and, and not get distracted by other things. I just, when I find something, I really want to make sure that I put all my time in and do it right. But when it came down to it, there were just things about it that didn't sit well with me. So I ended up leaving it. And I went to a company that was very similar, the type of company where uh, when you get in, then your goal, quote unquote, is to tell people, okay, well, now that you've found this, I want you to forget about what you're doing and just come do this. And I didn't like that either. I don't want to distract people from what they're doing. I want to provide solutions for them and help them take whatever they're doing to the next level. Like, stop the distractions. Let's, let's keep you focused on where you're at and go to the next level, which is why I started Marketing Solutions, um, which is why I'm showing you this video. And, and, and you know, I'm going to be doing some cool stuff too because um, we're testing these campaigns out um, uh, with some different kinds of solo ads, different kinds of paid marketing. You know, the goal is to keep it simple. Uh, a lot of the stuff I was learning in the beginning had to do with free marketing on Facebook, which is great and all, but it's so time consuming. I don't know if you're sick of sitting in front of Facebook, but I sure as hell got sick of it. So we just switched things up and we're doing it a whole different way, um, which is why we found this amazing tool uh-oh. Am I missing one of them? Let's see. Oh, it's all in there. Okay. So now, so we found this amazing tool. We're going to run traffic to these videos. So, okay. So now I've made this video and it's almost done. Um, let's see. Now, I do know that here that we provide. Okay. So then I want to add some animation. Okay, so I don't want it just to be a plain background. So I go to animation and with this slide, let's see here. I already kind of like say let's see, we go one, two. I like this. No, no, no. We've got a delay on it when I click. See there's all sorts of different backgrounds. I want to, it adds dimension to it. And now the reason why I chose the lighter one first is because there's a lot of light words on this page and some dark ones. And then I went to a darker one next because everything's light. So, and it looks like I missed, it looks like I missed some dimension on some of these words. Let me just check these. Nope, we're good. I'm going to go back here. 
Come on, animation. Oh, you are just getting clunky because you're moving slow. And then we're going to go here. See, it'll just give you an idea of some of the backgrounds. Five, six. Oops. I like that one. I like that behind him. And then three. Just be weary. Not weary, but like, see, the reason why, uh, nope. I wouldn't use the clouds necessarily everywhere, but because these black words are across that, um, see, see how the white kind of disappears? So as a matter of fact, we're going to go back in here. And we are going to change that text. We're going to go to text and color. We're going to change it to black. Okay. So now we've got our animations done. We're going to start at the beginning again. And you can do this as you go, but I like to just recommend that you start one place at a time and get, get your copy done and then go make it pretty. Okay. So we're going to add a background effect. You see how the background is very simple? This adds a little bit of depth to the edges. See how that adds more? There's more. There's more. I think I think I like that first one. Or do I? I might like this one. I think I like that. So it's four. I'm just going to keep that consistent across all of them. So four. Just because, I and mean, you don't want it to move too much. The goal is to just keep it nice. You just want to look professional. That's the whole goal here. Come on. Like this. Four. What else can I share with you? Gosh, I think we've covered a lot of territory in this time. I hope you're finding value in this. Um, because, I mean, it really is simple. Oops, see? Oh, son of a bitch. The, this is why we're going to just punch in four. Right? And then we're just going to go four. Yes. I tell you. My Pro died, my uh, Pro MacBook Pro. So I'm like, let me just get some more use out of my Air. Because I have a MacBook Air as well. Oh, geez. But she is just, she's not a pro. She is not, oh, oh, really, lady? Oh, geez. It can't handle it. It just cannot handle it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you. You're going away. And, um, gosh, I wish, I wish you guys could ask questions and we could chat while I'm doing this. Because it would be so simple to do so. Okay. So now, let me just pop back through these. Make sure everybody's on four. Just to double check it. And then what I'm going to do too, maybe what I'll do is I will put this video inside of this same email. And what we're going to do, I'm going to make, remember that orange we used earlier? What happens if we use that orange here too? I think I like it. I don't, I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to try this. Let's try that one. And let's just try the yellow. Let's try this golden color. Oh, I wish it was a little bit darker. What about like that? Ooh. Heart of phone. Fighting. Yep. We're going to go back in here. Oh, yeah. That's sharp. Marketing Tool Suite, which is the first word. 
Marketing Tool Suite. So now basically we're going in and we're going to highlight words. Oh, it's, I need to get some leverage. Marketing Tool Suite. I don't think that's the right color. That's the right color. A marketing Tool Suite. Revolutionize. Simply. Marketing Tool Suite Simply. Why is that one back office? Is that Does that not have... It's almost like it's the wrong color. That will... Simply. Right? Does some of the words look different color-wise? Strong black shed. It's so funny how it happens sometimes. That will revolutionize. Right? See how that looks? Those look different? I can't explain it. Simply. Maybe it's because of the size. Because it's all the same in here. Okay. So anyway, we're going to go through here. You know what we're going to do here? We are going to increase the size of these because I want them to be bigger. Let's try 90. That's going to be too big. Let's try 80. Yeah, that's better. And you're going to we're going to do you for 80. This one. Do you see, do you follow what I'm doing here? Again, I could pause it, but I'm not gonna. I want you to see the whole process in real time. And so you can enjoy the music of the background in Bushwick. You can say you hung out in New York today. <laughs> what do we got going on here? The marketing tool, we're gonna make that bigger too. Oh, or can we? We might not be able to. Let's try. Let's see. Oh, snap. Uh, 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 uh. See, some of them just look different, right? Marketing tool suite. We're going to try 150 on that. Nope, that's not going to work. Go back to 130. Revolutionize your workflow. Simply. Simply, let's increase that. We're going to try 110 on that one. Marketing Tool Suite, revolutionize the, your workflow in a brand new way simply by providing. It's so interesting, the, the color difference. It just looks different. And I didn't do anything. Let's see. Let's click on this one. So that's here. Let me copy that. This is. Oh, no, I don't want that. Yeah, it's the same exact color, and it's got the same exact effect on it. It just looks slightly different. Okay. So anyway, like literally. Uh-oh, now what's going on with this one? What's going on here? What if we could show you a way to have... Where's that one? Let me look over here. What if we could show you a way to have... To have exactly what you need for 30, but what if we could show you a way to have exactly what you need for 30 bucks a month? Let's make that bigger. Let's go like this. Let's see what we can do. What does this look like at 90? See, literally, this is, this is how you do it. Oh, 30 bucks, that still looks good. Let's try 110. Oh, look at that. Okay, wait, let's try it anymore. Let's try 120. 
we're going to be prepared to do 130 if it looks like we can go bigger. Because if we can go bigger, we go bigger, yo. Ooh, let's try it. Oh, yeah. For 30 bucks a month, right? Okay, so let's keep going. Let's see what this one looks like. Leverage your time. Let's try this. 175. Leverage your time. And let's try this. By investing in tools. Okay, what about, let's try 95. It still works. How about 100? Oh, that still works too. See, because why not make it bigger? I mean, we can. So why not just have fun with it? Right? Let's see. Da, da, da. You hear the ice cream truck coming back around? Oh, he's back. Goes to the end of the, here's the thing. I can't even eat ice cream because I am lactarded. Customizable squeeze pages. I know these ones are simple and good. Just got a lot of animation stuff going on. Sinking. Email, voice, text, and postal autoresponders. I wonder what those would look like in yellow. You're like, oh my goodness, Michael, just get to the point. But I want to see. I need to know. Let's see. And these are just things that you'll do, too, when you're using this. And remember, once this is done, it's done. You don't have to do it again, and you can use it for your entire team, right? Uh, like I said, ooh, look at that. That really pops nicely. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Live chat. Webinar platform. Oh, come on, swing out. There you go. Social media inviters. Campaign tracking. I like campaign tracking. Live. I'm going to put live chat. Live chat is for the, on our lead capture pages. It's really cool. You can turn on live chat. So if you want to sit there or have someone else sit there, you could, you could hire someone. I was hoping to just stay in front of the chat. Live chat. What's up with that, yo? Okay, necessarily marking tools. Maybe should I, I wonder, services. First of all, let's make this stuff bigger. Let's see what this looks like at 100. That's good. How about you? At, let's say 110 for this one. Right? And then these guys, I think I've already increased them. But I wonder what they would look like in gold. Do we like that? I don't know if we do. These are things you could test, too. I think I like that. Free marketing resources. And because I just like the way it pops against the blue. Although, you know, I like with the white check marks. I think we got to put it back to white. Um, there's no undo. You just got to go put it back. Yep, we're leaving it white. I mean, but hey, it, there's only one way to find things out, and that's called by trying them. It's the same as whatever you're doing with any of your projects. Okay. So pretty much, I know I just need to make that bigger. Um, 130. Let's try 130. Dude, sign up today. Let's do him at 110. Let's try... 120 and try this at 110 I guess 100 uh oh I might have made it too big for your marketing needs I did so let's go back here we're gonna go to 110 
Sign up today can still be a little bigger. Let's try it at 130. Do you get the point here, what we're doing? It's real simple. Uh, let's try this at one, oops, one, 10, and I want it to be text line. I want it to be vertical. I want it centered. Let's try that. Sign up today. And it flips. Oh, geez, see that didn't work, did it? Top. Sometimes it's, there we go, per choice for your marketing needs. Apparently, I can't even do 100. It's probably got to be 100. Nope. Let's try 95. And then you just wait for it to cycle back through. Sign up today. Increase your... So again, I, I, I went too big. And that's still too big. Alright, sign up today. Increase your profits. What do I do on the bottom? Pretty choice for your marketing needs. And I just changed this vertical alignment on the second window because I just want to see what it does. I wanted it to be more centered. That's better. Increase your profits from your choice for your marketing needs. Hmm. What if we do crisp shadow on those those words let's see oh goodness gracious me oh my Ooh, I like that uh oh you guys I think we're good now okay so now that all of that's done and we could preview the project I'm just gonna save it because we've done a lot of work without saving Remember to save. Always remember to save. Okay, so now we're going to go in here to audio settings and we need to pick a song. Okay, to do this you go enable music first track. Okay, and one that I liked for this is called... Oh wait, I know what I need. I have something I need to do. There's one of the slides. Um, is it this one? Is it... Um, it's after the one that's 6.7. One second, because I recall seeing back here this one. I just, I wanted the, the slide delay to be just a little bit longer because it was, this one moves too quick and I want people to be able to read everything. So I, I made that longer. Okay, um, so now we're going to go to, you know what, since we're in here, since we're in here and looking at it, we're going to go crisp shadow and, yeah, I like that better, crisp shadow. Okay, I'm making a change on the fly. What does this do? Can if I do it? Those are fine. Um, where else do we have white on this? I just I just realized that I like crisp shadow on white. See how nicer it is to read? Again, these are changes you can make. It's really simple. There we go. Um, does this even look better without anything on it? I think that it does. This too. Anywhere I'm putting my slides, I'm removing this background effect that, that darkened up the edges. Because, let's see here, where was the other place? Oh, here, it was this, right? Is this the little spinny things? Yes. Come on. 
and there, and then this one too. Here, I'm just gonna put a zero. So it puts it back to zero. Okay, now we're gonna save the project again. Again, we could preview it, but I know it's right. I just know. Okay, we saved. Okay. But you would want you to click this and it would play it. Um, you would do the same thing with the music. Just know that when you add the music to it, remember, enable music, first track. When you add the music to it, um, sometimes the screen moves much slower than the music. So the only way to really uh, get the proper feeling is to export it um, so you can watch it. Which one did I like? Get get going. Okay, so if you want to test it, here it is. Right? Get going. Okay, so we're going to use that song. Now, notice here, the track is 1 minute and 55 seconds, right? And if you look down here, the video that we have is 82.6 seconds. So, the way I figure out when to start the delay is I go, okay, one minute is 60 seconds. So 60 plus 55 is, what's the number? 60 plus, I should be able to do that in my head. I know. Um, okay, so 115, right? And then I'm going to go minus 83 seconds. So I need to shave off 32 seconds. So then I go down, see, fade out, right? Fade. Oh, that's why it takes time. I just want it to fade out. That's it, faded in. Um, fade. What is this enable voice second track? I don't even know what this, I just noticed this side. Uh, so 32 seconds. I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to export it. I'm going to short tools video. I'm going to stick it on my desktop. And then I'm going to put this video inside of, well, it's below. It's below this video. Or maybe I'll put it above. Yeah, I just, I put it above because this video is really long. I don't know if everyone's going to want to sit through it. Having said, you'll see this video above and or you have already seen that video and now you're watching this. Um, but that's that. So I did that in this and however long this video is. Um, and that's, it's done. So now I'm going to add a watermark to it, um, which is a whole different little simple thing to do. Um, it'll be a different video. I'll show you that tomorrow. Just because I want to be able to share it with my team and other teams might want to use it. So I always want it to be connected to me so that, well, it's connected to my team so that people on my team are free to use it because we're all on the same team. But for other teams to use the hard work that I did and the copy my I, I came up with with um, my business partner. So, you know, so I put both of our names uh, with the C for, oh, what's that word that I can't think of at the moment? I can't even, you know, see, copyright. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. And uh, that's that. Anyway, I appreciate you if you're still watching this video and you watch this whole process. It really is that simple to do all this. I'll cut a, a, a I'll edit a version without the, the space so that there can be a quick version as well. Um, so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. Uh, and I guess we'll go from there. So if if you haven't already made the decision to purchase video FX for you and your business to promote whatever it is you're promoting, there's a link below that you can do that right now. Like I said, it's super simple and you can take a lead capture page and you can you can run traffic from this right to the lead capture page. It, they convert so nicely. I just, I invite you to do this for yourself because it's, it's just so simple. And when it's done, it's done. Like I made it in this amount of time, whatever it is, and I don't have to do it again. Matter of fact, now we have three videos for our team and and they're done. And, and now everybody can just run 
traffic to these videos and let them convert, right? So simple. You have a great day. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or just leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think about my story? There was so much information in there. Uh, that being said, just have a great day. Have a great day. This video is long enough. I will talk to you later. And tomorrow, um, I'll show you how to actually make the, uh, what's it called? Mm, the watermark to put on there so that you can protect videos for yourself as well. Um, I'm going to use software called GIMP. It's a free image editing software. It's like Photoshop, but it's free. And I'm going to use iMovie because I have a Mac. So if you have a Mac, stay tuned for that. Uh, if you don't, well, I'm sure there's a way to do it on a PC. I just don't know how. So maybe you can make a video and share it with me. Uh, I would love that because I don't, I don't know much t about PCs other than they're great for business. But for creative stuff, I like my Mac. That said, ciao. Have a great day.